Lung cancer is categorized as small cell lung cancer and non-small cell lung cancer. The clues to identifying the patient's lung cancer are the accompanying paraneoplastic syndromes, SIADH, Cushing syndrome from ectopic production of ACTH, carcinoid syndrome, and Eaton-Lambert syndrome are most commonly associated with small cell lung cancer. This type of cancer is aggressive and can metastasize quickly. Once metastasis occurs, surgery is not recommended as a treatment option for the patient. This eliminates choice B, surgery and chemotherapy, and choice C, surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation therapy to the brain. Unlike non-small cell lung cancer, when patients with small cell lung cancer have a very poor Eastern Cooperative Oncology Group, or ECOG, performance score, chemotherapy is recommended. If the patient had non-small cell lung cancer, which includes adenocarcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma, or large cell carcinoma, and presented with this scenario, then choice A, hospice care, would have been correct. Since he has small cell cancer, he doesn't need hospice care at this time. Chemotherapy can help the patient improve his overall function. If the patient had disease limited to the one hemithorax, then choice E, chemotherapy and radiation therapy to the lungs and brain would be the correct answer. Since he has extensive disease with brain metastasis, the best next step is choice D, chemotherapy and radiation therapy to the brain.